Hello, everyone, and welcome to our new Able Bits show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today's topics include the PGA, Supreme Court, CrossFit, and more. Let's get going. The PGA Tour concluded its comeback on Sunday with a one-hole playoff between Colin Morikawa and Nate Berger, with Berger emerging as the winner. Live sports fans everywhere see this as a sign of hope that more sports leagues are soon to return. Other than the obvious absence of fans, the event remained mostly the same, with the product on the course still worthy of our attention. This week's event starts Thursday at Harbortown Golf Links in South Carolina, but sadly, once again, Tiger Woods will not be in the field. Businesses are transforming more and more due to the COVID pandemic, and healthcare is no exception. Estimates by consulting firm McKinsey suggest that $250 billion in spending could relate to virtual specific care. There are many reasons why a patient and provider would use this avenue, such as convenience and cost savings. The current pandemic simply thrusts the opportunities to the forefront. And the summer movie season has officially begun, or has it? Movie theaters do plan to open their doors over the next couple of months with new safety guidelines, but just how many movies will be released? Mulan is still scheduled for a July 24th release, but other movies such as Wonder Woman 1984, Top Gun Maverick, and Tenet have been delayed. Judd Apatow's new comedy, The King of Staten Island, has gone a completely different route and received a VOD release. Who wants to bet Christopher Nolan's new flick, Tenet, will somehow involve time manipulation? All right, guys, first question in 10 seconds. You know, I think the last movie I saw in theaters was Rise of Skywalker. All right, time's almost up. Calling all smartphone enthusiasts. As we get deeper into 2020, and a new slate of smartphones will start to release with designs ranging from revolutionary to throwback. Yes, that's right, the flip phone might be making a comeback with Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. Apple's iPhone 12 is believed to have 5G and a totally new design, while Google, Nokia, and others have new models releasing this year. Can we please get a Zach Morris brick phone vintage release? In a historic decision made this week, the Supreme Court voted 6-3 to three that workplace discrimination based on sex applies to LGBTQ workers. Justice Neil Gosurich wrote, an employer who fires an individual for being homosexual or transgender fires that person for traits or actions it would not have questioned in members of a different sex. Many people expect the consequences of the decisions to echo across the country by making it illegal to discriminate in many Republican-controlled states. President Trump reacted by calling the ruling a, quote, very powerful decision. As people return to the gym and their workout routines, we may be seeing less and less CrossFit. Last week, the CEO and founder Greg Glassman announced he's, quote, retiring after controversial tweets and remarks made during a teleconference. In the wake of the scandal, an estimated 1,000 gyms who partner to use the CrossFit name have decided to cut ties. I always wondered if being a CrossFit member meant you were required to post your workouts on social media. All right, on to our second question and 10 seconds. So, do you even CrossFit, bro? All right, time's almost up. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience by clicking the topic button and creating your own content, or dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thank you for tuning in to Little Bits. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.